Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. As you guys know, Ryan Edwards, there's been a lot going on in his life. He's been arrested multiple times over the last few months. His wife, Mackenzie, filed for a divorce on February 27th. Now, before she filed for a divorce, he was arrested on February 10th, and this was for violating a protective order that Mackenzie had taken out on him on February 9th, as well as harassing Mackenzie. Now, when the police went to Ryan and Mackenzie's home to arrest him for violating the protective order, they saw the damage that Ryan had done to this house. The damage was massive. The chandelier that once hung above the front door was now on the ground broken. Couches were thrown around, one in the stairwell going down to the basement, another one blocking the front door. All the mirrors in the house shattered. Obscenities spray painted all throughout the house. After the police saw the damage that Ryan had did to this house, they went to Ryan's parents' house looking for him. He was not there. They found him later that day at his job, and that's where they arrested him. This was on February 10th. Now, Ryan would go before the judge, and he would bond out, but under the conditions that he would go to rehab, as well as wear a GPS monitoring system. Now, when Ryan was arrested, the officers also found what they believed to be heroin, cocaine, and as well as drug paraphernalia on Ryan. They sent the substance off to the lab to be tested, but Ryan was charged with possession of controlled substances. Those charges would be dismissed. Ryan would go to rehab, but he would leave rehab after two weeks. Therefore, he violated the conditions of his release. On April 7th, Ryan would overdose while behind the wheel of his vehicle and he would hit a curb. Therefore, stopping the vehicle, paramedics would arrive and administer Narcan to bring Ryan Edwards back to life. He was arrested that day on April 7th. He stayed in jail until his April 20th court date. At that court date, the judge as well as the prosecutor scolded Ryan for taking advantage of their leniency. Now, Ryan does have close ties to this judge. I have another video about that, talking about how Ryan is connected to not only this judge, but another judge in Red Bank, who also is a defense attorney, who just so happens to be Ryan's defense attorney in this case. So if you want to check that video out, I will link it in the description box below. Either way, this judge has known Ryan all of his life, and he told Ryan that he is trying to save his life, that Ryan died that day over on Broad Street, and that he knows that Ryan really needs help. So he sentenced Ryan to 11 months and 29 days in jail. He also discussed after jail, sending Ryan, possibly sending Ryan to a in-house or inpatient treatment facility, um, and also ordering that Ryan take a maintenance medication shot once a month to help curb the cravings for the drugs that Ryan Edwards is addicted to. Now, when Ryan went to court on April 20th, his estranged wife, Mackenzie, was there. She was caught later by paparazzi as she was leaving. Jenna Larry was there as well. Mackenzie would later tell the son that while she feels that this is a start, that she doesn't necessarily think that one year is a long enough sentence for Ryan. She knows that he has struggled with addiction for many years, that he has had times of being sober, and that he has had times of relapse. In the body cam footage, she talks about how Ryan has never gotten this way before, that he's never got crazy or violent, but he did the last few months with her and the kids did witness this. She told the son that the last few months have been really difficult for her and her children, and that she hopes with the four pending charges that Ryan has against him, that hopefully he will get more time. Ryan Edwards is due back in court on June 12th. The charges that he is still facing that he will deal with on June 12th, that is harassment charges, DUI, and two possession charges. McKenzie did not say whether or not she would go to court that day, but she did say that everything being so public has really had an effect on her because her job has found out about everything and they are not happy to be associated with this mess. Mackenzie hopes that Ryan will get the punishment that he deserves and the help that he needs and that she and her children can pick up and move on with their lives. 
I will continue to follow this story if anything else comes up. I will be sure to let you guys know. So if you're interested in following this story, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me all your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one.